What's up, Facebook, YouTube? This is your girl, Felicia. Hi, girl, B. I'm coming to you to do a review on a uh, Magic Lace Front Braid Wig by Magic Lace. This is it. And it also comes in two other styles. The box braid, the small Senegalese twist, and the big. I have the small one, and I have it in the 1B. The item number is MLB22. Style Senegalese Twist Small Color 1B for mine. It comes in this long box here. And uh, our local beauty supply store here in Shreveport, Louisiana, sell them for $99. I found it on uh, hairsisters.com for $69.99, so $70. Bucks. And um, also, a sister site to the um, Hair Sisters had one for $52.99, but it was a number two, and that was the only number that they had. I'm not sure if they were uh, only had one or two of those or what. Um, I'm quite sure that it was low on stock. That's why they were so cheap. But, um, yes, it comes with a comb right here in the front center. Two combs on the side, one in the back with an elastic uh, adjustable band in the back as well. It has the lace that was around the front that you have to trim off. And um, it comes with the middle part. I'm not a big, big fan of the middle part. I wish it was just all blended, but oh well. And it had a little, it had a string that was had them like laying down. Like we got to go in and uh, go around randomly cut that little string out. Um, but yeah, it sits around the edges pretty well. It has baby hair on it, so if you have thin edges or your edges out, you can use that baby hair to lay down. But yeah, this is this is it. I part my hair down the middle in the front and try to lay it right there so it'll blend in. Um, let y'all see the length on it. Four is in the front. Comes down to the waist. There's the back. Stops right here. Um, I figured out a few styles to uh, wear with. Wear it that I just don't have it down like this. But you can all pull it back and put it in a ponytail if you like. I take a little from the side. And I... Go down twisting like a flat twist. Twist that down. Look at under my arm. Hold it so it won't untwist. I get a little from this side. Do the same thing. And I take both of those back. Get a scrunchy. Put it on there and wear it like that. When you pull it back, you be careful that this don't sit up. Make sure you kind of give it a little tug so it'll lay back down flat and that's not cocked up or nothing. But yeah, that's one style that I liked. Another one, you start a little bit further over on this side going and you do the same thing. I don't have a uh, bobby pin with me, but I'll get a bobby pin and pin that back. And then I'll just leave this side hanging down. But when this is bobby pin down, this comes down like this. And that's the second one. Okay. When you pull this up, it's really, like, you can see the tracks and it's real thin on the side. So... Another style was like pull it back right here, but what I have to do is go underneath and pull some down so it covers that that track part up. So you would pull this up, but go underneath here and get some and lay that down. And you can kind of cross these over to kind of cover up that front part 
And then you just put a scrunchie on there, some bobby pins, and you pin it up like that. And that was another style. I forged it going all the way up like this. I tried that, but you just got to make sure you loosen this down to make sure those lay down, the sides don't bunch up. And then you can pin that back like that, pompadour it up in the front. That's a few styles for it. Or you just wear it down. Oh yeah, to not have to sit all those hours, I think this is a, a, a nice wig. Putting it up, just got to be careful of the, um, I'm not sure if you can see all these. It's, not, it's nothing here. So it's like a big voided space, probably about that wide, that there's no braids there. Let me turn around, hopefully the camera's catching it so you can see that. So you can't like grab so many of them and make a bun if you do like i say you have to go under pull some of those out to lay over that that open spot um another thing like this i like my part more let me get that comb out there to the side so if you do it more to the side you can do it it's a little it looks better in the front but it's I would only do that if I wear it down because this side here where it's supposed to stop here is going to be uh, excess over your ear. So you have to come back a little further with the comb so that it goes behind your ear and lay down okay. But then on this side it's going to be up high so you don't have anything here. So if you're going to wear it more to where your part is to the I parted my hair but it's been laid back in. To where your hair is um parted to the side it looks better if you're just gonna keep it all down like this but i, I really like it on the side like this but yeah i i think this is pretty good if you style it right and the next thing i plan on doing is to part my hair going all the way across and put about mm, maybe about i don't know or maybe about 10 to 12 single braids going straight across and then have the wig to come back to about right here and then pull those braids in and it'll probably look way more natural then because you can see the parts of um of uh the my hair will be parted and it'll look like the rest of them behind there is probably single twist so yeah but it's not bad wearing it without the uh single ones in the front these combs sticking are good too especially that middle one if you don't don't put it up too far but yeah you get it all in there get you some good edge control i got some dollar mania edge control it's 7.99 it's kind of like the hicks edge thank you actually it's cheaper <laughs> it does the same thing so you lay your ears on down. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Without the long sit and wait. But yeah, kind of like this. You pull your few down on the sides too. That's another way. And pin it back. Pull that back. And leave you a few hanging on the sides. Hmm. Yeah, you can play with it a little. Oh, it's my um. I braid up with my. The Janelle Monet style, I think I wouldn't be able to do that with this because um, it's not, probably the backing is not going to look like it should. And then it's that big voided space. So, no, but just to wear it down and pull it back on, yeah, I love it. I think I, I like this. So, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. 
Y'all go online, Hair Sisters, and get you one for a little cheaper if you just can't wait. One, um, $99, so $100 at Dollar Mania. Y'all take care. Smooches.